Hey guys, welcome back to a new video by Biology with Zhang Xuan. So today we are going to do the 5090-42 May-June 2023 paper for alternative to practical. So this is a viewer requested paper but also uh, there's a chance for us, a chance for me to help you guys more other than just the IGCSE biology scope. So the O-level paper form will be slightly different comparing to how the structure of the papers in IGCSE. But this is the same thing as paper 6 in IGCSE Biology. So let's start solving this video. And if you guys want to know more tips on how to score, the cards above of this video will be shared. And please click on the video to watch. Okay, let's start. Question 1. Some students investigated the movement of water by osmosis using potato tissue. So they were provided with all of these um, apparatus. Make sure you have a look at it. And they used the following method. Label the test tubes of 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8% and cut each of the potato cylinders. Each has a mass of 3 grams. Place one cylinder into each of the test tube. Add the matching concentration of salt solution and it make sure it's covered shown in figure 1.1 which is like this and note the time and leave the potato cylinders in the solution for 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, remove the test tubes, remove the potato from the test tubes and dry each with the paper towel and make sure you measure and record the mass of each potato cylinder. So A part 1 is asked to complete the column headings in table 1.1 and part 2 is asking you to read the measurements and record this in the table 1.1. Part 3 is to find the change of mass. And remember, change of mass is uh, it's either going to be positive or it's going to be in negative. Positive or going to be in negative. So, gram, 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 3.9 and 2.2 with a positive difference of 0 0.9 and a negative 0 0.8. Okay, you need to know how to do starting mass and the final mass. But make sure it also makes sense with the sequence of the numbers here. Part 4. Water can move into and out of the potato cells by osmosis. Salt cannot move into and out of potato cells. Use this information to explain the results in the test tube containing 6% of salt solution. So the water diffuses out of the potato, causing the mass to decrease. Okay? Part 5. Explain why it is important that all of the potato cylinders have the same mass at the start of the investigation. So to make sure the results can be compared and it, and it could be valid so to make sure that it's fair investigation. B part 1. The concentration of salt solution were made by using different volumes of 10% salt solution and distilled water. Calculate the volume of 10% salt solution and distilled water needed to make 10 cm cube of a 4% salt solution. So it'll be 6 cm cube of distilled water and then 4 cm cube of 10% salt solution. Part 2. Explain why using a 10 cm cube measuring cylinder is better than using a 50 cm cube beaker for measuring the volume of distilled water and salt solution. Why? Because it is more accurate when you can, precise the, uh, you can precisely measure the volume properly. Part 3. Explain why it's important the students dry the potato cylinders before obtaining their final mass. So it's the, because the mass of the water is included inside the calculation. So what you do is that you want to remove the water so that it's excluded from the total mass of the potato cylinder when it's being reweighed again. Okay? C part 1. Construct a graph of percentage concentration of salt solution against uh, the change in mass. So you can see that uh, this is the graph that I've drawn. But of course, I forgot to put the percentage sign, which is, uh, of course, if you want to put, it's better because it's a safer option. And make sure you have a change in mass, in grams, and then you just plot your graph and make sure it's like this. Alright, and then part 2 is asking for each potato cylinder had a starting mass of 3 grams. Use your graph to determine the final mass of a potato cylinder placed in a 3% salt solution. Show you're working on your graph. So you see from 3 grams, I get zero, minus 0 0.2. So this is mean it's at 2.5 plus 3.1 over 2 with 2.8. So the final mass would be 2.8 grams. Okay, D part 1. Design an investigation to determine the concentration of salt solution in which movement into and out of potato tissue is equal. Your investigation should be based on the method described on page 3 but using the changes in length of the potato tissue and not the change in mass. Give full experimental details. So you can see right that this is technically the... Um, the changes in length now. So this could be the DEV. Alright. So prepare the apparatus for the investigation. The potato tissue will be the same type of species throughout the investigation and with the same starting length. Also, there is five different concentrations used. I will just use six 
because it's better so it used to be 2%, 3%, 4%, 5%, 6%, 7% and all of them we pop with the same volume so allow the reaction to take happen for at least one minute to show changes at last calculate the change in length for the final results of this investigation okay part two identify the dependent variable in the investigation you have designed yeah the db is the length okay they asked for this e part one potato store starch describe a test to confirm the presence of starch include the observation for a positive result so using iodine solution and the positive result will show blue black in color Part 2. The starch can be broken down into glucose for the plant to use in respiration. Name the region used to test for the presence of glucose, which is the same as uh, reducing sugars actually. So, so the answer for this will be Benedict Regan. Okay. Okay, question 2. Figure 2.1 is a photograph of a leaf from a potato plant. In the space below, make a large drawing of the leaf as it appears in figure 2.1. So there's three marks. So what they're asking you to do is to make sure you have cle clear and clean continuous lines, minimum 90 millimeter in length of your drawing, nine veins on minimum, four on each side, and make sure it's a symmetrical and it has a correct shape. Okay? B part one, draw a straight line on the photograph to join lines A and B. Measure and record the length of this line, which is 52 millimeter, okay? Part two, on your drawing, draw a line at the same location as the line A to B. Measure and record the length of this line. So the length of the line on drawing, which I draw a line from A to B, will be 53 millimeters. So use your measurement in B part one and part two. Calculate the magnification of your drawing compared to the photograph give your answer to one decimal place so what's the formula is that you have to find the length of the drawing of drawing divide by the length of line which i will get 1.019 and if it is one decimal place it will be 1.0 so the answer is times 1.0 c Figure 2.2 is a photograph of the leaf from a sweet potato plant. Describe one visible differences and one visible similarity in the structure of a potato leaf in Figure 2.1 and the sweet potato leaf in Figure 2.2. So again, the answers is not fixed. So the difference will be the apex of the potato is less pointed. Comparing to this and this, this is much more flat and this is much more sharper or pointy. And the similarity is that both has branching veins. You can see there's both branching and the same as for here you can see this branching 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 so that's the similarity so i think this is the end of the paper so i hope you understand this paper really well if you're not sure please look through at atp questions and make sure you constantly practice them till you make it perfect otherwise it shouldn't be a very difficult paper for for o level biology so i hope to see you guys in the next video thank you so much bye bye